I also wanted to talk a little bit about like a military wife thing for a second. My name is Allison if you are new here and today we are starting a military wife day in the life So so far today you've seen me go through my little mini morning routine I always get coffee first thing in the morning Nothing can happen until coffee has happened and then I got ready. I read for a little bit I'm currently reading well all year I've been reading this book It's new morning mercies by Paul Tripp, but I also started reading this book to hell with the hustle also really, really good recommendation. I like reading those kinds of books in the morning, so like the very first thing that I'm consuming isn't my phone or the internet or the news or my YouTube feed, it's always just like a book. I feel like it's a better way to start my day and it's like really enjoyable to sit down with a cup of coffee and just read for a little bit and have some quiet time. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, my husband's name is Christian and he is in the Marine Corps. He has graduated one school and we were supposed to be moving out to California for him to start another round of training, but because of the issues going on in the world, the military has stopped all moves. So we are kind of stuck in the location that we are right now. And there's not really anything for him to be doing. So he has been home, thankfully. It's been like the greatest blessing in disguise during all of this. So today it is a work day. He is home the entire day. And also tomorrow is his birthday. If you've seen any of my videos, you might have seen this like giant pile of presents in the corner that I've been trying to hide from him. And it's really hard to hide gifts for someone in a one bedroom, one bath apartment. But we have some stuff for that today that we need to take care of. We're gonna be going to Walmart. I need to bake him a cake. I need to do some blowing up balloons that I'm trying to hide from him. That's on the agenda for today. morning I've just been trucking away on editing. I have a video to go up live today. I've been posting every Tuesday and Friday so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of those uploads. Doing the voiceovers now we're about 14 minutes through a 21 minute video. It's a clean with me. I'll link it here if you want to check it out. Christian's now up. We hung out for a minute and he's out on a little back porch. In this video I showed you guys what our new back porch um, furniture looks like. Actually hold on. I can show you right now. So there is the back porch furniture right now. It's really cute. It's just a little foldable set and I like that it's black and white. It's like a little bistro. So Christian's parents got that for him for his birthday. He's just out there chilling, drinking his coffee in the morning. I love that little set. We've been enjoying outside a lot more, but it's going to be really, really hot today. And we're going to get a run in later today and we're going to be sweating, sweating buckets. But despite all that, I'm going to eat my breakfast, finish editing, get this exporting. And then I think we're going to go grocery shopping after that. <laughs> make our bed this morning which is something that never really happens we usually make our bed every single day even though Christian does not love to fluff the pillows the way that I like it normally if he makes the bed he'll just throw them up there but I made the bed today so it looks pretty nice and I always love to finish it off with like a room freshener spray that one's from Mrs. Myers I shared it in my Grove collaborative haul if you saw that now I also wanted to talk a little bit about like a military wife thing for a second so if you're not interested in learning about like military wife paperwork like just fast forward maybe like a minute or two somebody in the comments had asked me before to talk about the marriage paperwork process and how that all works we got married and then we drove to our first kind of duty station Christian was doing training here but I was allowed to live here with him and we have an apartment off base but he previously was not in any military installation like this is his first time being at a duty station so we got married and our honeymoon was us driving here to get checked in and then three days after we got here I think Christian reported for duty the first day we had the marriage license and we did not mail it in immediately we kept it and we took it with us on our honeymoon road trip thing. And then the first city we visited from our honeymoon road trip was St. Augustine, Florida. And Christian had actually booked us an appointment at one of the Deers office. Deers is the system for getting into like the military system of like insurance and being a dependent and everything. So Christian just found a random Deers office. You can go to any office wherever, you just need to make an appointment. So Christian made that appointment and then we got there and we had our marriage license that we had not mailed in yet. He like put all my information online, but because Christian was not technically active duty yet, because he had 
hadn't checked in. We were not able to actually get my military ID or anything. And then after we did that, immediately after we drove to a post office and put our marriage license into the mail for it to be filed with the state, we had our final marriage certificates mailed back to Florida to my parents' house. But eventually my parents got the marriage certificate and they forwarded that to us. And then once we had that paperwork in the mail, we went back to the deer's office on base. He got the time off to be able to come with me to the deer's office to get me signed up for it. And something went wrong there so we couldn't do that. So I had another appointment another day. I think there's a form that he can fill out if he's not able to be there in person with you to get your military ID. And because he had filled out the forms, I went back to the deer's office a second time. And then I was already previously in the system from the first time we went there. And so the process was super, super easy after that point. But like it took three different deer's office visits for me to get my ID and the paperwork to be processed and everything. Also a little tip is to ask the deer's office that you go to first if your name is not already changed to kind of just change it for you. They were very very nice to help us with that even though my driver's license said my maiden name. They were really really helpful and just put down my future name. They basically asked like do you have plans to change it and I said yes and they were like okay we're gonna help you not have to come back in here and go through all of this again. So that is a kind of lengthy overview of what our marriage paperwork process looked like. So I'm now kind of done in the morning with everything that I needed to do. I have my video exporting, I've made the bed, I've had breakfast. I think we are gonna go to Walmart to do grocery shopping. <laughs> It is now noon, the day is trucking along and just flying by, but we are still working on getting the video posted to YouTube. I try to post at 2 p.m. so we'll see if we actually meet that time. I meant to show you what I do with my grocery list now. Since it's a little more stressful to go grocery shopping like in Walmart and different places right now, I like to have my list really, really OCD. So I'll sit down and meal prep like every single dinner that we wanna have throughout the week so we know like what we need to buy exactly. And then I'll put it all into the notes app on my phone. And then inside the notes app, I will section off each item on the grocery list by where it's located in the store. So at the top I have produce, and then I have all of our bread, and then I have our meats and just different things. That way we just go aisle by aisle and we know exactly what we need from every aisle. So it's a little hack for grocery shopping and making it a little less stressful during these time. I would rather spend the 10 minutes at home organizing my grocery list in my notes app to make my time in the store go by a lot faster and a lot smoother and easier and just easy breezy. But when they get this up and then we need to go um, blow up our balloons and hide them in here from Christian. I also wanna bake his cake today. It's gonna be a chocolate cake. I'll leave the recipe down in the description bar. Amazon just dropped off some very exciting packages of life jackets and you might be very confused But if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that we just bought or actually we didn't buy it Christian's birthday is tomorrow obviously that's what this video has been about But his family got him an inflatable kayak because there's tons of little rivers and creeks and lakes in Virginia And we needed personal flotation devices to be able to go out on the water with them And that was the last thing we were waiting for to come in to be able to take the kayak out on the water Good morning, sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet. It is the next day. We ended up going out on the kayak and it was so much fun. I'll insert some pictures here. And I think we're gonna go um, kind of early in the morning because it's supposed to rain later today. It's also his birthday today. And I have a happy birthday sign and a bunch of balloons that I planned to blow up yesterday and didn't get around to. So we need to do that right now before he wakes up because it's like 6.30, 6.45ish, and he's gonna get up at like 7 or 7.30. So that's what we're doing right now. That's why I am not put together or ready for this day at all, but I need to get this going for his birthday today. Oh, also, the cake came out. It's great.
I am completely out of breath and honestly a little lightheaded, but we have all of these balloons. Let's go set them up. So please excuse the absolute disaster that was in our kitchen, our living space, and this dining table. I'm gonna clean it up right now, but I wanted to get this done in case he woke up while I was cleaning. But I put a couple on the ground, a couple on the table. I think it'll be a nice way to wake up, right? Okay, this is all much better, much cleaner. Ta-da. I have still not had coffee, which is a miracle. That is the real miracle of the day, that I have started and gone this far into the day without having any coffee. So I'm going to do that as my reward for cleaning the entire kitchen and the living spaces, and I even vacuumed all of it. And I think Christian might be awake, so let's go check that out. I think this vlog is just the vlog of my ratchet hair, but it is much later now. We are back from our run and from kayaking. Well, we like were dragging this inflated kayak through like woods and brush and like bushes and trees and stuff. And it was fine all the way out there and then we were carrying it back and we thought we heard something pop and then we heard like a tss. And then nothing else really happened for a couple of seconds. Like the sound went away and we're like, okay, must have been nothing, keep going. We got it packed up, deflated in the car, it was great. And then we went to the place that we found that was gonna be great for taking the kayak out for. And we inflate the kayak and the first thing that we try to inflate in it, we just hear the same tss. And we flip it over and on the back there's a seam that has a tiny little hole. So. We're not sure if it's really the kayak's fault, if it was like made pretty poorly and the seams are super weak, or if it's our own mistake and it hit a thorn or something when we were carrying it through all the brush. But the kayak is currently in the living room. We have Gorilla glued the whole shut and we will see if that holds up. I feel bad for Christian, he was really looking forward to this and we found like a great place to take it out, so kind of disappointing. It is now 3.30, if I can read that clock correctly, and that we have so much left to do today. I have to frost this cake, I'm gonna make some chicken salad, I need to clean the apartment, I'm gonna do laundry, I wanna start editing a video. There's just so much going on today and honestly, I don't think it'll be very entertaining for you guys, but this is a military wife day in the life and I wanted to remind you guys that like I try to make these videos as much of like our daily lives, typical things that involve Christian and I together or me, just me alone, what I'm doing if Christian's gone because I want you to share with you guys what it's like to be a military couple and I feel like these vlogs are the best way to do it. So as always, please leave any questions you have about military life or different things you want me to touch on if you want to hear more about budgeting, if you want to hear more about what our on-base versus off-base housing looks like. I don't even know what other questions there could be. Paperwork, insurance, TRICARE, anything you guys have questions about, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to incorporate it into future vlogs. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me make more videos in the future and it also really helps me in the YouTube algorithm having all of those likes, so if you are able to, please do. And that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you found our life entertaining or informative or whatever you came to this video for, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.